Hello viewers, welcome back to my tutorial for today. I'm still be looking at how to make the butterfly short can with this Ankara fabric. This is about two years and a half fabric. That's two years and eighteen inches. And the fold like this. First of all, fold into two. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is it. I'll first of all fold it into two. Into two like this. So you cut that. Into two like this, then you fold again, making it into four. <laughs> After folding your fabric, you take your shoulder measurement, which is 16 inches divided by 2, giving it. I'm not cutting anything here, I'm just doing it for easy understanding. So, this is my shoulder. From that shoulder, now mark my breast point measurement, which is 12 inches. 12 inches first point measurement and the half length I'm working with is 15 inches that so should have to waste my 15 inches I also rule that out while my hip line is 24 inches from my shoulder to my hip It varies from individual space. It ranges between 24 to 25 inches. Okay, so you can see I'm having three lines my breast point line, my half length, and my hip line. On each line, I'll insert my measurement. Okay, on the bust line, I'll take the bust measurement that's on the breast point line, which is 41 inches, divide by 4, give me 10.25. 10.25 I'll be adding 1.5 inches extra for ease because it's not normally tight it's really kind of free so I'll add 1.5 inches extra and remember we are, I'm marking on the right side because we are sewing on the right side of the fabric so this waistline I'll take my waist measurement which is 37 inches divide by 4 giving 9.25 So also add 1.5 inches extra. So on my hip line, I'll insert my hip measurement and divide by 4. So the hip I'm working with is 46 inches. 46 inches. Divide by 4 will give me 11.5. So 1.5 inches is allowance. So I took all measurements and I add 1.5 inches extra. So I'll just connect the lines together. From my from my bust to my waist, then to my hip. Okay. You can see this is this is my bust measurement, this is my waist measurement, and this is my hip measurement. I'll just trace it down to this part. I'll take same measurement on my hip line, 13 inches, and also take 13 inches here at the dress plate, 13 inches. So I'll add 2 inches extra for ease to enable easy movement. So I'll just connect the line together. Okay, so if you want the lower part of your bubble gown to be kind of curly, like you don't want it straight, then you come up by four or five inches by the other side of your fabric. That's the side area. So I'll use four inches, come up by four inches, 
then I'll connect to meet up with the center point. I'll just connect in a curly way. Okay, you can see. So you connect from this point, you come up by four inches and you connect in a curvy way like this. So I just trim this out to give it a little curve at the lower part of the dress. So I'll just trim this out. Okay. Now okay. So it's now kind of curvy. So I'll sew on this line, this chalk I've marked. I'll also, I won't be sewing up to this point because if I should sew up to this point, my clients might not be able to walk freely. So I'll go up by seven inches. Seven inches. So I'll stop, I'll stitch here. I'll stop my sewing here. So I'll start sewing from this point. That's the breast point area. I'll just sew on the chalk area. I'll start sewing from here. Then for my neckline, I'll be marking four inches here. The width will be four inches. And I'll come down by 4.5 inches or five inches. And I'll connect. I use 4.5 inches. So I'll just connect from this point to this point. Okay. So that's it for the neckline. 4 over 4. 4.5 inches width and 4.4 4 inches. 4 inches width and 4.5 inches depth. So I'll cut the neckline. Mind you, the front and back neckline is same. Okay. So that's it for the sewing part. If you want to start, you can also go up here. Or you can also measure your armhole from this point. Depending on how you want it, this is another way. So the armhole I'm working with is 18 inches divided by 2. Give me 9 inches. So this is my 9 inches. So I can choose to start my sewing from that 9 inches. In case you don't have enough room for a bigger sleeve, you can start your sewing from this 9 inches so that your bra would not show. You start from that 9 inches downwards. Why you can also preferably start from your breast point. You can start from your chest line which is 9 inches. You sew straight down. So just measure your armhole. So this time from your armhole, then you start sewing from that point to the point you mark to stop sewing. So this is the chest line. This nine inches will serve as the chest line. In order not for your bra not to show, in case you don't have enough material for a longer sleeve, you start your sewing from your breast, from your chest line. That's you divide your armhole by two, and you mark. Then you start your sewing from that point. So that's all about the cutting. So I'll just put this fabric the other way, ensuring the side is equal. Then I'll hit it so that my chop will show on the other side. Okay. Just in this way, my chalk line will show on the other side. Now, trace it out. Okay, this is my chalk line. This metal saves a lot of time. So, this is my chalk line for the other side. What we have, okay. So, this is what we have. So, we are saying from this point to where I marked on both sides, then I will be using my bias on the neckline. I'll be using the lining for this dress. 
I'll use my bias on the neckline and also weave the lower part of the dress. Okay, as you can see from the picture of this dress, it will be having a pocket at one side of the front. So by this side of the front, we'll be fixing our pocket. So I'll just come up by four inches from the hemming part of my dress. Then I'll mark 10 inches for my pocket length. Then the pocket will be eight inches wide. So I'll just throw the line out eight inches. Eight inches. Okay, for this pocket, this is what I'll be using. I'll be doing Ankara patches for the pocket and I'll be using this piece of fabric for it. You can see it's about 8 inches wide and the length is exact 10 inches, which is perfect for my pocket. So what I'll be doing now, you can see it's on fold. I'll go ahead to my machine and sew the edges, then I'll flip it over to the other side. I'll just create a small hole where I'll be placing it on it and flip it over. Then I'll place it on the right side of my booboo dress, just as you can see, somewhere here like this. So this is how it will look like. Four inches away from my gown length. 2.5 inches away from my from my line, my sewing line, that's the dress shape. Then it's exactly 8 inches width and 10 inches length. So I'll just place this on it like this. After I must have sewn the edges, they match on each round. I won't be matching this side because it's a pocket. So that's all for the blue gown. You bias the neckline, like I've said, you bias the neckline. Then you whip the edges, then you sew on your marked chalk. You sew from your chest line measurements to the to wherever you want your sewing to stop. But for easier movement, I would advise you come up a little from the I mean line. So I'll just show you guys the finishing part of this video. Okay, instead of bias, I chose to use the fabric I used for my pocket for my bias. So I'll be using this one inch, it's one inch wide just one inch wide and i measure the neck round the neckline round what i got i used to cut a straight piece which i'll be using to turn the neckline i'll turn it from backward to outward that's from the inner part i'll start sewing this from one side of the inner part that's this shoulder area then i'll end it up at the front side i'll turn it over to the right side so that's what i'll do and for the edges like these edges you're seeing here, the side area, I'll be weaving it around. And if you don't want to weave yours, you can as well fold your edges. You just fold it twice like this and sew round. You just sew from this point round to the other side of the butterfly thumb. So that's all about it. Okay, this is the end of my video. And this is my butterfly thumb. See the next time. You can see how the design came out. Can be your okay. This is the pocket. Just one side of my butterfly bubble gown. And this is how it's looking. Thank you so much for watching. Please ensure you like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to turn on your notification bell to be the first to get notified when I upload a new video. Okay. Bye. See you in my next video. Have a nice day. Take care.